Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about multiply minus 9 and 13 using Boost algorithm using 5 bits. In the previous video, we are already solved multiply minus 9 into minus 13 using Boost algorithm. If anybody wants, please refer that video in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivas Rao. Now, in this video, how to multiply minus 9 and 13 using Boost algorithm. Here, minus 9 is called as multiplicand. That multiplicand is stored in BR register. Whereas, 13 is called as multiply. That multiply is stored in the QR register. Among these two numbers, minus 9 is the negative number. Negative number can be represented in two's complement representation in terms of 5 bits. Now, minus 9 can be represented in the binary form. First of all, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is the binary form of 9. To represent minus 9, we have to use 2's complement. For that one, first we have to find out 1's complement. So, 0 can be inverted as 1, 1 can be inverted as 0, 0 can be inverted as 1, 0 can be inverted as 1, and 1 can be inverted as 0. So, this is the 1's complement of 9. Now, plus 1 can be added at the LSB side. So, then we are getting 2's complement. 0 plus 1, 1, here 1, here 1, 0, 1. So, this is the 2's complement of 2's complement of 9. 2's complement of 9 is nothing but minus 9. Okay. So, therefore, BR is equal to minus 9 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Whereas, minus BR is nothing but minus of minus 9 is equal to plus 9. Plus 9 is nothing but 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, this is the BR value and this is minus BR value. Whereas, 13 can be represented in the binary form by using 5 bits. So, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is the binary form of 13. Here, 13 is a positive number so that we cannot, so that we cannot use 2's complement representation. Only binary form of 13 can be represented in 5 bits, then 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Only negative numbers can be represented in 2's complement. Here, minus 9 is a negative number. So, to represent minus 9 in 2's complement representation, we are getting this one, 1, 0, triple 1. Okay. So, this is the calculation part. What value we are stored in BR and what value stored in minus BR? And what value stored in QR? Now, we can go for how to perform the multiplication operation between minus 9 and 13. Okay. Now, we can go for the multiplication by using this flowchart. First, multiplicand is stored in BR register. So, that is minus 9 can be stored in BR register. Multiplied in QR register. So, in the QR register, 13 value can be uh, stored. Next. After that, we can go for this step. Initially, accumulator register contains the value 0. That 0 can be represented in terms of 5 bits. Because 
in the given problem perform multiplication operation using boost algorithm using 5 bits so that accumulator value contains the zero this zero can be represented in terms of 5 bits next one q q n plus 1 value initialize with zero so this is q n plus 1 value is zero next one sequence counter is initialized with the n that means n is nothing but number of bits in the multiplier so in the multiplier the number of bits are 5 so that the sequence counter is initialized with the 5 5 can be represented in the binary form 101 1. next qr register initially contains this value 0 1 1 0 1 so this is the initial initial conditions initial condition next after that we can go for uh, this one check qn and qn plus one bits so qn is nothing but least significant bit in qr register in the qr register this is the least significant bit okay qn value is nothing but one and qn plus one value is nothing but zero okay so qn value is one and qn plus one value is zero so qn and qn plus one value is one zero so then we can go for uh, this step one zero we can go to this step ac minus br here we already know that minus br value here we already know that ac value so ac minus br is nothing but we can add minus br value to the accumulator we can add minus br value to the accumulator we already know that minus br value okay so here minus br value is uh, this one so AC tends to AC minus BR. Okay. So this can be written as AC plus minus BR. Okay. So minus BR value is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. We have to add these two values AC and minus BR value. 0 plus 1. 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 0, 0. After performing AC minus BR value, again we have to perform automatic shift right AC comma QR comma Q of N plus 1. ASHR AC comma QR comma qn plus 1 so automatic shift right operation okay here the bit stored in qn plus 1 can be removed so then the vacant place we are getting in that vacant place the last bit in qr register can be placed here the remaining bits in the qr register can be shifted towards right so then we are getting so 0 1 1 0 this place is vacant in that place we have to shift this one value after shifting this one each and every bit in this uh, ac register is uh, shifted towards right 0 1 0 0 the last bit is vacant in the last bit again we have to write the msb bit here the msb bit value is a zero so that we have to write here after performing the shift right operate automatic shift right operation of ac comma qr comma q of n plus one we are getting this result after that sequence counter is a decremented so sequence counter value is five five can be decremented by one so then we are getting one zero zero okay next so this step is completed.
so then what is the result we are getting 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 and this is the one next again after that we are checking the sequence counter value the sequence counter value is a 4 4 not equal to 0 again control goes to this place again we are checking qn and qn plus 1 bits here qn value is 0 and qn plus 1 value is 1 so qn value and qn plus 1 value is equal to 0 1 so whenever qn and qn plus 1 values are 0 1 again we have to perform ac dense to ac plus br AC dense to AC plus BR. So here in the accumulator 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is there and the BR value is 1, 0, triple 1. 1, 0, triple 1. We are adding AC and BR value. 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 1, 1. After performing AC plus BR, again we have to perform the arithmetic shift right AC comma QR and Q of N plus 1. So, arithmetic shift right of AC, QR, QN plus 1. So, this bit is terminated or removed. So, this bit is vacant. In this bit position, so Q of n plus 1 bit value can be placed. So this bit is vacant in that position. So each and every bit in the QR register can be shifted towards right. So then we are getting 1, 0, 1, 1. Next, this bit is vacant. In this bit, this bit is placed here 1. And the remaining bits in the AC register can be shifted towards right. So then we are getting 1, 1, 0, 1. So this bit is vacant. In this bit, again, MSB bit, we have to write. So after performing arithmetic shift right operation on AC, QR and QN plus 1, this is the result we are getting. After that, sequence counter is decremented by 1. Sequence counter value is 4. 4 can be decremented by 1. We are getting 0, 1, 1. So, again, we have to check in the SC value. SC value is a 3. 3 not equal to 0. Hence, again, the control goes to feedback loop here. Again, we have to check the QN and QN plus 1 in the next iteration. For the next iteration, what are the values we are getting? 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is the 0. Now, what is QN value? So, that is 1. And what is QN plus 1 value? That is 0. So, QN, QN plus 1 value is equal to 1, 0. If QN and QN plus 1 value is 1, 0, again we have to perform AC dense to AC minus BR. Okay. So, AC is equal to AC minus BR. That means, minus BR value can be added to the accumulator. Here, what is minus BR value? So, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. That can be added to the accumulator. 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1, 0 with the carry 1. So, whenever we are performing the two's complement, so if any carry is generated, that carry can be discarded. So, this carry can be discarded. So, here discard carry, discard carry bit. So, after performing the addition operation between AC and minus BR, so this is the result we are getting. After that, we are performing the arithmetic shift right operation. ASHR, AC comma, QR comma, QN plus 1. So, of <coughs> this bit is eliminated. 
after performing right shift operation then this bit goes to this place and the remaining bits are shifted one bit towards right so then we are getting this one this bit is vacant so here this bit can be moved to here and the remaining bits are shifted towards right by one bit position so 0 0 1 1 and this bit is vacant so in that bit msb bit we are writing okay so after that the sequence counter is decremented by one so three can be decremented by one we are getting zero one a zero okay again we have to check a c value a c value is a two two not equal to zero again control goes to this loop so after that what are the values we are getting 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 and this is 1 we have to check qn and qn plus 1 value so here qn value is a 1 and qn plus 1 value is a 1 whenever qn and qn plus 1 values are 1 1 we have to perform arithmetic shift right so ashr ac comma QR comma QN plus 1. So in the arithmetic shift right operation, the bit stored in Q, QN plus 1 can be eliminated. So in this place, vacant, this is the vacant place. In this place, we have to shifting this one. So the remaining bits are shifted towards right. Then we are getting 0, 1, 1, 0. This is the vacant position. In that place, this one can be shifted towards right. The remaining bits are shifted towards right by one bit. So here the MSB bit is vacant. In that uh, MSB bit, we have to write this zero again. Okay. After performing the arithmetic shift right operation, the sequence counter value is decremented. So the sequence counter value is decremented. Then we are getting zero zero one. So here 0, 0, 1 means decibel equivalent value 1, 1 not equal to 0. Condition true. If the condition is true, again control goes to this decision box. Okay. So here what is the result we are getting? 0, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 here 1. Again we have to check QN and QN plus 1 value. Here QN value is 0. Qn value is 0, Qn plus 1 value is 0, 1. So, 0, 1. So, we have to perform addition operation between AC and BR. Here, this is AC value and this is BR value. So, we are performing the addition operation 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, 1 plus 1. So, 0 with carry 1. 0 plus 1 plus 1. 0 with carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 with carry 1, 0 plus 0 plus 1, that is 1, 0 plus 1, 1. After performing Ardham <coughs> addition operation, then we have to perform arithmetic shift right. So, AC comma, QR comma, QR, N plus 1. So, first, this bit can be shifted towards right. So, this bit can be eliminated. In this place, this 0 we are getting. So the remaining bits in the QR register shifted towards right by 1 bit position. So then we are getting 1, 0, 1, 1. This bit is vacant. In this place, this 0 can be placed. And uh, here, the remaining bits in the AC register can be shifted towards right. Then we are getting 1, 1, 0, 0. Now this bit is vacant. In this place, we have to write again MSB bit. So finally, we are getting triple one double zero zero one zero one one here zero. After that, again sequence counter is decremented. So the sequence counter is decremented by one. Then we are getting zero zero zero. Okay. So, SC counter value is 0. So, then we have to stop the end procedure. Okay. So, now the result is uh, stored in 
AC and QR register. Okay, so here this is the uh, value stored in AC and this is the value stored in QR register and uh, this is the value stored in Q of n plus 1 but the result store result is nothing but AC and QR. What is the data stored in AC register and QR register that can be declared as a result but the result is in two's complement. Okay, so what is the result we are getting? So triple one zero zero. This is the result stored in AC and uh, zero one zero one one. So this is the result stored in QR register. The final result is triple one double zero zero one zero one one. So it is. So this is the uh, result result is stored in AC and QR register. So here in the AC register the result is triple one double zero. In the QR register the result is zero one zero one one. So whenever this MSB bit value is one MSB is nothing but so in the AC register the last bit is nothing but MSB bit. If the MSB bit value is 1, that means the result is in 2's complement and the also result is negative. Okay. So, to verify the given result, first, whatever the result we are getting, for that result, we have to find the 1's complement. So this is the result. For that result, we have to find the one's complement. One can be inverted as zero. One can be inverted as zero. One can be inverted as zero. Zero can be inverted as one. Zero can be inverted as one. Zero can be inverted as one. One can be inverted as zero. Zero can be inverted as one. One can be inverted as zero. One can be inverted as zero. So this is the one's complement result of this one. For that one, we are adding plus one at the LSB side. Then we are getting zero plus one is nothing but one. The remaining result is triple zero, triple one, zero one, zero. So this is the final result. This is the two's complement result. To verify the original answer, again we have to perform the two's complement. This is the one's complement and a plus one. One's complement plus one is nothing but two's complement. So then we have to apply the positional weights 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6, 2 power 7, 2 power 8, 2 power 9. So only we are considering once. 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 4 plus 1 into 2 power 5 plus 1 into 2 power 6. So that is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64. Then we are getting result 117. Okay. So the result is negative, put negative sign before 117. So this is the final result. So when we are performing multiplication operation with minus 9 and 13, we are getting minus 117. So in this way, we have to perform the multiplication between minus 9 and 13 using Boos algorithm. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. So whatever the bit in QN plus 1, that cannot be considered in the result. So please subscribe my YouTube channel. So the Vela Srinivasarao. So please follow the previous video. In the previous video, we are discussing about minus 9 and minus 13 using Bose algorithm.
so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video